this is just the form that when you uh, subpoena somebody, you got to put down whatever information you know. And this is a subpoena for a Chief Judge Tina Nato of the Superior Court. She heads the Superior Court. And this is a subpoena for uh, Administrative Judge Edwin Kelly of the, uh, the Circuit Court System. And both of these subpoenas are signed by Representative George Lambert. Um, of the, he's a sitting member of the New Hampshire House of Representatives. It's right here. And how much money would you like? Um, th those are the uh, address for the Supreme Court. Okay. Okay. Did I do everything correctly? Yes, ma'am. Thank you for your time. Thank you guys very much. Okay. All right. Well, we just uh, gave the Merrimack County Sheriff's Department two subpoenas for the two chief trial court judges in New Hampshire. And um, we are going to hopefully have them in court um, for Jason Talley's trial. The reason why we want them there, of course, is because Jason Talley uh, was arrested for mere possession of a camera in the courthouse uh, as a result of three different court orders that came out three days, uh, starting three days after uh, Adam Miller of Keene was arrested uh, on a lie by Judge Burke. So we want to be able to, uh, to show a jury that, look, uh, his charges should be, uh, you should just nullify whether or not he broke the law or not because these judges are breaking the law and they're getting away with it. No one's doing anything about it. So uh, we think this is what jury nullification was, was for. Um, I just had, I just got from the court yesterday, actually, this order denying my motion for, uh, for, uh, to, to uh, depose four judges. Um, it says right here in the court order um, that this case presents an exceptional circumstance which require the depositions to ensure that he receives a fair trial and that the public be apprised of the impunity which high-ranking judicial officers are able to break the law and cover for each other. Uh, I wrote that, and um, I wrote that because, again, if you look at the timeline here, Judge Burke tells a lie on camera, uh, Adam Miller goes to jail for two days for something he didn't do, and then three days later, the uh, the, the chief judges of the courts are playing willy-nilly with constitutional freedom, and uh, it certainly looks like they're covering for each other, and that's quite frankly unacceptable. So, we're hopefully going to put an end to it right here now. I noticed that when we were inside, the clerk asked if that was a residential address that you gave for the judges, or if it was a business address. Yeah, no, I mean it's it's the address for the Supreme Court, so. I figured the best place to, I mean, the best place to serve them is with the Supreme Court. Um, and uh, obviously it's, 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 you can't even go up to a judge and ask simple questions without them saying you're threatening them, as evidenced in the case with uh, Adam Miller. So, I mean, the only safe way to, uh, to serve them with uh, a court order to appear in court is by having the Sheriff's Department uh, do, their, do their job, which is uh, what I just paid 58 bucks for. So. Uh, I'm headed right now with Representative George Lambert over to the Attorney General's office to discuss with them uh, what the judicial branch is doing and uh, basically to let them know that, you know, you can't treat people this way and it'd be okay. You know, we're going to do something about it. All right. Thanks, Brad. Yeah, thank you.